the Crypt Keeper of Creepy, the provocative Prince of the Tweens, the Nightmare from Neptune. It's Zabu Jard! That's gonna take a long time. I'm a rocket boy. Rocket boy, sailing up fucking nigga town. And you know there's gonna be a long, long bunch of niggas up in nigga town. Cause I'm a rocket boy, rocket boy, singing all the way to nigga town. And you know it's gonna be a long, long time. Cause I'm a rocket boy, rocket boy. Don't, don't end up like me, don't you, end up like me, don't, 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 don't you, forget about me. Oh, it's too late for me, if you're thinking about me, praying about me, it's too late. I'm pushing 40, I'm 32 years old, I'm almost 40 years old. Basically at the life at the noose end of my noose end rope because I'm almost pushing 40 and I'm 32 years old It's too late for me. I'm too old. I'm over the hatchet. I'm over the hill It's too and it's too late for a rocket boy So don't you forget about rocket boy and uh <laughs> My my generation. Ba -na -da -na -ba -na. My generation. Ba -na -ba -ba. My generation. They're all lonely, single people. Half of the pop, half of the world's population is female, and I can't even get a wife. And I'm the most handsome man who've ever. Then I'm the most handsome boy who's ever lived, and that's a fact. Well, you can see that on my Wikipedia page if you go on wikipedia.com slash Zabujard. It will say, I was, I am, sorry, the most handsome uh, b man, boy, who's ever lived on my Wikipedia page, and guess what? I'm single. And I've always been single, and um, I, uh, I'm still not married. And half of the world's population, you can look this up, about 51% or no, maybe 49%, close to 50% is actually female and I'm actually male and I still can't find a wife. Now let's narrow that down to English speakers. And uh, what percent of the world is, speaks English? Probably like 50%. I don't know. 50, let's say 50%. So that's 25% of the world as women, and I still can't find a wife. Now let's narrow that down to people who are in with me, within my age range, my age group. You know, I'm not gonna go after G milfs. I'm not going after 40 year old plus women, or I don't even like going after 35 or 33. I don't even want to go after women who are older than me. To be honest, that just grosses me out and creeps me out. So let's narrow it down to the age range of women. Let's say between. 24 and 32. Now, what age, what range of the world's population is that age? Let's narrow that 25% down and we'll see that's about 15, 15%. I don't know. My generation, I don't, I don't think it's as fucked as Gen Z, which is you guys, but I think it's still I don't think, yeah, it's not as fucked as Gen Z, but it's way worse off than Gen X. All right, you know, I'm talking about millennials. There's still, there's still hope in millennials. Some of them are pretty, you know, they're fine. But a lot of them stay at home after age 30 doing nothing, watching Netflix all day, fapping around, they're all single, they can't get wives and husbands, so they just fap. 
and they watch Netflix all day and they eat a big jug of ice cream and they become giant obese land whales. That, like Moby Dick would be jealous of some of these people who... And people over 30 don't go outside very much anyways. But now they're definitely, but now there's Netflix, there's video games. Now they're not, now they're definitely not going out. They're drinking beer, they're smoking weed. What am I, what am I doing? I'm at home. I had food poisoning, diarrhea again. Probably from something in my diet this morning. A bunch of bad diarrhea today, food poisoning, whatever it is. I'm on a downward trajectory. See that 69 times fast. Downward trajectory, downward trajectory, downward trajectory, downward trajectory, downward trajectory, downward trajectory. It's tough. Until you start being on an upward uh, trajectory, which is a new word I invented, which is kind of like a it's kind of like a differentiation on the word trajectory. It's actually trajectory. And um, you can look that up. People my age don't have wives, four husbands. A lot of them are single. A lot of people right now are single, and their girlfriend is their their computer or their screen or their Netflix account or their uh, video game controller or their um, dragon black uh, black dragon dildo or whatever it is, and their or their jug of ice cream, and a lot of people my age are single right now. Nobody's getting married. Nobody's having kids. Some people are. The lucky ones, in quotation marks. Happy couples make me sick! Just kidding around, guys. Or am I? Happy couples make me sick! I said it twice. I said it twice. And, um... So there you go. There it was. And, uh... I mean, yeah. So there you go. So... I think maybe I, maybe I would be a happier person if I was in a couple. You never know. Maybe I would be. Maybe... Maybe I'd have someone else to hang out with. You know what? I've tried everything. I've tried. I bought circus stilts. I've tried making cartoons for over a decade. I've tried uh, jerking around. I've tried um, video games. I've tried uh, sugar soda addiction and ice cream. And um, I've tried uh, push ups and showers and baths. I even tried baths this year. I've been taking some baths this year. Not kidding. And showering every day now just because it's the only thing that feels good anymore. And I've tried, you know, whips and trips and slips. I've tried drinking beer. I've tried, um, um, I haven't tried cigarettes, but I'm considering it. Becoming a cigarette addict just, just to fucking do something. Just to have something to, to do and look forward to. I'm praying every day. I'm praying every day. Nobody else is doing that. And still my life is cringe. And, um, still no wife in sight at all. And, um, video games are boring, anime is kind of boring sometimes, TV is kind of boring, movies are kind of boring, like, this realm is, and world is boring, I'm not studying the Jewish stuff enough as I should be, and, um, it was the Sabbath on Friday, by the way, and, uh, uh I just bought some KFC, it's the first thing I've eaten all day, because I had food poisoning and stuff. So I wanted something tasty, and uh, I did some exercise today at the park. That was I walked on the grass, barefoot on the grass for an hour, whatever. That was cool, I guess. I've been thinking about setting up a wooden um, monkey bar uh, spider's nest web system throughout my room. So instead of walking through my room, I can maybe just play on the monkey bars all day in my room like a spider creature. Become, I mean, becoming some sort of a cum goblin in a cum cave with a spider nest web set up in my own room so that I can crawl around like a spider all day on the ceiling and uh, through the room space area just so I'm exercising and away from the computer, maybe focused on climbing and spidering around. I'm not even kidding, I'm dead serious. And I, I probably would. And I probably will. I'll need to buy some wood before I build my spiders in cage. And I will show you guys the finished product when I build my entire, when I turn my entire room into a giant playground spider web nest cage that I'm creating with metal bars and wood beams. And I'm not kidding. I'm going to do that. And it'll be like a McDonald's play pace from when I was a kid. And so at least I'll be exercising during the day, maybe, except I probably won't. But still, 
Uh, I'm going to do that. That's on my to-do list. I've been wanting to raise meat rabbits to eat. I've been looking up how to butcher rabbits and eat them and uh, how to raise meat rabbits. I can't have rabbits at my sister's house. I think she'd throw a cow. So there you go. You know, this realm, this world, it's a short life. Do anything before you're dead. Um, but, you know, do good stuff, I mean, before you're dead. But also do risky stuff, like like ask out that girl at your work or or, um, or um, walk your dog around the lake or jump in the lake or walk barefoot naked in the desert. You know, drive naked, shower naked, get in a plane naked, um, jump up and down to metal music, paint swastikas on your chest, your back, your walls, Life's too short. Take a sledgehammer. No, I'm not going to finish that one. But, you know, just... My whole life is wasted, I have nothing to show for it, but a trillion cartoons and a trillion games that barely anybody watches or plays. And it, it, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm happy living here alone by myself most of the time. And I don't think I'm happy here. And I don't know what to do. And I don't know where to go and I don't know what to do. And if I go somewhere, I'll just be homeless, but I don't even think that would be that bad compared to being being a neat is tricky. Being a homeless neat might be more fun. In my car, being a homeless neat car might be more fun than a home neat boy doing nothing on the computer all day. And, um... What I'm trying to say is this. I've been a neat for a long time. <clears throat> a long time. And I think if you can find friends or a partner, not a gay one, Be, then I think social interaction is the best thing for a human. Uh? Ho hopefully not bad, mean people social inter interaction, but at least neutral-ish good people social interaction. Any kind, a friend, a teacher, mentor, apprenticeship, a parent, a sibling, a partner, a friend, a, a fucking... A if you have a child, if you have a, a dude, a, a pet, even a pet, a dog, lizards, fish, maybe not fish, lizards, monkeys, gorillas, any kind of living person or thing or creature, hopefully not demons or ghosts, I don't know if you want to mess with that, that's probably a bad idea, but just, just some kind of interaction or social interaction, I think, I think... I know a lot of the neats can get through being alone and single their whole lives, maybe, but it's it's. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty tough. I think it's pretty hard. Or or just I or just exercising daily. The other hard thing is just getting out of bed, getting out of your chair. For me, it's just nigh impossible. I'm glad I got to use that word. I'm talking about nigh. And. Um, it's just not impossible, and that's obviously a big factor in my life, my realm worldview. My parents forced me on medication for like 10 years straight. I'm sure that did a number on me head, um, and all that sort of stuff. But my me head was all way, all um, was even before the 10 years of forced head meds and rehabs. I was always kind of had a bit of a. I feel like I had a little bit of a quirky catatonic schizo thing going on somewhere up there, maybe. And so, you know, so keep watching the cartoons. Please! Please!
please keep watching the cartoons and um and uh and uh thanks god you guys are alive and you're out there somewhere and uh you should start raising meat rabbits for self-sufficiency before the grid and the world shuts down for a while before the market of beast is mandatory for everyone to live in heat and um get a sawyer mini for a free water collection for a filter that lasts a lifetime You guys are doing well yeah hope you guys are doing well and uh keep keep praying and stuff and uh god bless you and your family see you guys bye you know you know my generation is like the loneliest generation ever and there's no jobs or houses and our parents i've Nice houses and cars and money and pet dogs and and um just I should be we should be in a Amish commune. We'd be happier and healthier. We'd be in the sun more. The sun doesn't give you lethal cancer. That's a myth. Sunscreen does that, not the sun. Sun gives you. A tiny little baby form of cancer, prop maybe. Sunscreen has benzene in it, and that gives you the real cancer. You don't want to take sunscreen anymore. Get the sunburn; it's worth it in the end. So I'm being a little forget. My generation is also the faggotiest generation because the pride movement and stuff, and then the Gen Z. Now they're on screens their whole lives. They're going to be even more effed up than this podcast you're listening to right now. You think that's bad? To quote Peter Griffin. You think that's bad? You think that's bad? I can't do Peter. I can't. Yeah, hey, Lars. Uh, hey, hey, Lars. You think that's bad? Wait till you see how fucked up Gen Z is from being on a screen 24-7 since they were two two years old or in the, probably in the womb. You think this podcast is a little a little out there? You haven't seen anything. Wait until you see them grow up. I'm talking about an entire gen of mall slash school bangers, gunners. And, um, because they've been playing video games where that's, well, uh, level one, gun up, let's go, you know, level two, gun up, them all, you know, level three, gun up, the church, you know, that's all they play on Call of Booty, and it, it is a booty call, and, um, uh, uh, dude, you know, this could be the end of the world, I know I've been saying that for a long time, but lately I've been feeling like maybe it isn't, because maybe that's just a meme. Um, a Christian meme, where the end of the world is always today, and it's always tomorrow and yesterday. Um, and I don't, I don't even think I'm really Christian anymore, really. But I, I could see the world going on, maybe, but it would be totally different and destroyed. But that might be for the best. What this world really needs is, you know, it, it needs revolutions um, against people's governments. Uh, because of course they're really evil. They're, they're gunning everyone. They're killing everyone with uh, boosters or um, I'm talking about booster seats for cars. And um, and um, the two-party system is fake and gay. And it, everything everything on the TV. I mean everything, the news, Seinfeld, anything you can think of, political debates, movies, documentaries, this world is entirely gay, fad, fucking fake, and so it needs a revolution, it needs my Lysha's, if you spell that word out, and um, everyone's too lazy to do one, or a lot of people are, and so the world will stay evil and corrupt and the same until people literally, I'm talking about like French revolution style what people did back then if you believe history books which I don't but you get the gist gist you get the gist and uh yeah okay bye another thing fans are worrying circuits and Overdrive. No thrill.
just heat. <sighs> Wished for a gaming rig. Budgets holding tight. Screen flickers. Relax. Lagging limbs amputated. But untechnologized. <laughs> Herman Miller's overpriced. Now it's time to have a snuggle with my very best friend in the whole wide world. You. <laughs> well, I'm glad you could come over. See you soon. Bye.